you guys. So today I thought it'd be fun to mix it up and take you guys to Pottery Barn with me. I haven't really done too much Pottery Barn on my channel yet. Um, I've only done like my Pottery Barn dupes uh, that I did last year, which was kind of a big hit. Everybody liked that one. So I am on the hunt. I'm looking to purchase a couple items for our new place. I ordered a new side board already. I did an e-design, so I'm really happy with how it looks. So I'll show you guys real quick. It's right here. And I'm really happy with how it has turned out. So there's a few items that I want to buy from Pottery Barn and I want to go and check them out in person before I purchase it online just so I can see how it looks and feels and if it's comfy or not. So anyways, I thought I'd take you guys on a little trip with me to Pottery Barn. It's a little ways from where I live, so it took me a little bit to get here, but um, yeah, I thought I'd take you guys with me. So let's go. Good old Pottery Barn, you guys. I have to do a voiceover for this just because they're playing music and it would just be too hard to talk and for you guys to hear me. So this is Pottery Barn, it's massive. I love Pottery Barn's bedding. All of my bedding is from Pottery Barn and it's amazing. I also realized how large all of their nightstand lamps are. They're just quality. This beauty caught my eye right when I walked in. This is a console table. It's so beautiful that the camera doesn't even do it justice. It definitely picks up on some hues that aren't that pigmented in person. But this is the East End console table and it is so beautiful. So I am definitely adding this to my to buy a list. Like I would love to have that. I also saw these vases. They also call them vessels and those are really amazing. A good throw blankets, you guys. I would literally snatch all of these up if I could. So when I was browsing through Pottery Barn, I was saw a lot of their sectionals. They had a ton of bedding. This is that headboard that I had. I did a Pottery Barn dupe for. You guys can check that out. Don't forget. And I went down their candle aisle. I'm also on the hunt for a couple pieces. I need a new dining room set. I love this table, but I'm not paying $1,800 for it. <laughs> so that's not happening. But I do love the look and the stain of that table. I'm also looking for some living room furniture. I need new dining furniture, entryway furniture, pretty much the whole shebang I need. I really love these glass lantern um, holders which I think would be so great on a console table. I really love those gold brass ones as well. And just kind of browsing, I love their candles. I feel like Pottery Barn's also known for their oversized lanterns. So they have these black ones, which are really nice. But I also really love these like almost aged brass colored lanterns. I thought those were really pretty as well. And then going over here to the sofas. This is a York slip covered sofa. And this is the one that I'm actually currently looking at on the left. I love that wall feature with the baskets. I've seen that. It actually looks better in person than it does in their, ma in their magazine. So I love the throw pillows. They have a really good variety of them. And I wanted to take you guys over here to show you the lamps. Now with Pottery Barn lighting and chandeliers and stuff like that, you could really actually find a ton of great dupes for their pendants, the chandeliers. But I feel like when it comes to the nightstand table lamps, I almost feel like those are a little bit more tricky to find because these lamps are so oversized, which is great because I feel like you definitely get your money's worth. I love that lamp. I was actually tempted to buy it for our nightstands, but I just didn't quite didn't quite get there. But I do love this lamp. This is 250. It is a smaller vase. It's like their concrete uh collection. But this one on the bottom is literally so worth the price. I would pay $2.99 for this lamp. It's definitely a statement piece. So I thought that was a really cool piece. I wish the shade lamp wasn't white though. All right, this is a leather chair that I had in my e-design that I was planning on purchasing online. And I'm actually a little disappointed. This chair is actually a lot smaller in person. And I don't like small chairs. <laughs> That's not the kind of look I'm going for. So I want something a little bit more oversized. So I found this one. This is a wing back chair. I actually love the color. This is in their leather toffee, which I am planning on getting. But I don't love the wing back. So I'm still on the hunt. They had a bunch of throw pillows. And there's that color again in that color toffee. That accent chair looks so great. So this one is better this is a similar one that I'm also looking at purchasing. I love that the cushions are zipped. Now, obviously, with leather, you're not going to throw that in the washing machine. But on the flip side, there is another chair called the Tyler, which is larger. 
which I really love. This is super comfortable. I sat in it. This is also a recliner, which is more expensive. And um, yeah, so I headed over. I wanted to see their swatches because you can also order Pottery Barn swatches online. I believe you can order up to 10 or 15. But I already ordered some, but I also wanted to flip through their catalog of swatches to see what um, colors these sofas come in. These are all of their performance fabrics, which I would recommend. And yeah, they had a lot of great options. A little indecisive because I want to come back <laughs> and go through all of these. Okay, so this is a sofa that I'm looking at getting. This is a York squared arm sofa. And I love the style of this. I was actually curious as if this came in a little bit deeper of a sofa, but their standard is actually already pretty deep. Um, just because from this so the sectional that we have right now, I just want something that's a little bit more deeper in width. Um, and so this was a really great couch. I love this coffee table. This is the same collection as that console table I showed you at the beginning, the Easton, and I thought that was a really nice piece as well. Okay, I'm super glad I went to Pottery Barn today for a couple good reasons. One, Pottery Barn is amazing. Oh, I just love that store. You just like walk in and it just smells like quality. You know what I mean? But um, those chairs that I wanted to get are a lot smaller in person than they than I like originally thought. So I was pretty bummed about that. Um, but super happy that I went because I wanted to make sure that they were like a really good size. I want to get chairs that you kind of just like, you know, you sink into, I don't want them to like feel too small. So because they're gonna be in the living room, I want them to be a little bit more oversized. So those chairs aren't gonna work out unfortunately, but I did find those other black leather chairs I really did like. Um, obviously I do, <laughs> I would do them in a different color um, and no nail heads. I want something that has a really straight arm and um, the back's like a little bit taller. So I'm gonna bring my husband back with me just because um, you know, it's his house too. And I want him to make sure that he loves the furniture, especially um, if we're going to be dropping a little, chunk, a little chunk of change on some new stuff. So I'm going to de definitely take him back with me and um, let him sit on some sofas, see what he likes. But I really did love that York sofa. That was a really, really, that was good. I really loved it. You guys should check out my Pottery Barn dupe video that I filmed it's really great. I have a lot of good dupes that you guys can find at Home Goods, at Kirkland's, and um, I think you guys would really like it. So make sure you guys check that out down below, and I will see you guys later.